Good morning. I know that we often have visitors with us at this Mass, especially those of you who are joining us as part of Open House Chicago. We welcome you. I'm so glad you're here. I also promise you that we don't give the money talk every week. But I do hope that my witness offers a tiny glimpse into who we are as a faith community. As Father Manny said, my name is Beth Kenobi. I serve on the Parish Pastoral Council, and I've been a parishioner at St. Mary of the Lake and Our Lady of Lourdes for almost five years. In my professional life, I work for Catholic Relief Services, the Church's International Humanitarian Aid and Development Agency. I've traveled and prayed in churches all over the world, from the grandeur of St. Peter's in Rome to a small flat-roofed cathedral in central Rwanda, to the clanging bells that call people to mass in the mountains of Nicaragua. And yet there is no place I would rather call home than St. Mary of the Lake and Our Lady of Lourdes. What I love most is that we are a parish that looks like the universal church. I invite you to look around. Seriously, turn, turn around and look at the person sitting next to you, the person behind you, the person in front of you. In our little corner of Chicago, we are a microcosm of the world. We are old and young, black, white, Asian, African, on any given Sunday, you'll hear people speaking English, Spanish, French, Italian, Tagalog. I have friends here who are gay, straight, married, single, divorced, widowed. As a community, we are economically diverse, citizens and recent immigrants. We represent people all across the political spectrum. With such great diversity, Father Manny often reminds the parish council to keep it simple. Jesus had only two goals on his strategic plan, love God and love your neighbor. When I think about those two defining pillars of our faith, there are two distinct images that come to mind. To love God means that we pray well together. In a few short weeks, we'll celebrate All Saints Day and All Souls Day. And our Latino community will transform these side altars into grand ofrendas stacked high with marigolds and sugar skulls. Last year, I watched two friends come forward and place photos of their loved ones on the ofrenda. One is a single mom who lost her daughter to suicide. The other, a gay man who lost his longtime partner to cancer. Two people who have drawn strength in God's love through the support of this community despite unspeakable loss. And I know those two friends will be here again this year to pray with and walk with others through the journey of grief. From the simplicity of daily mass to our highest holy days, we are a community that prays well together. To love our neighbor invites each one of us into service with our community. I remember a year ago in the summertime, Father Manny asked if I could help with hospitality for our newly arrived Venezuelan neighbors, many of whom were being housed at the local police station. And on that warm summer day in our side courtyard, we welcomed a handful of families, including a half a dozen kids. One of the other volunteers brought a soccer ball and a big bottle of bubbles. My Spanish is quite limited, but I learned very quickly that laughter is a universal language. I kicked off my worn out black sandals and almost immediately, one of my new five-year-old friends slipped off her hot pink Crocs and placed them right next to mine. 
And for nearly an hour, we ran barefoot in circles, blowing bubbles and chasing soccer balls. And I can still hear their giggles floating in the air and their cries of muchas, 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 as they kept jumping up to pop bubbles. Joy is a sure sign of God's presence. I know that service is not always easy, and yet I see so many of you sacrificing your time and sharing your talents to honor the dignity and bring joy to our neighbors in need. In addition to the parish council, I serve as a Eucharistic minister on Sundays. I make sandwich bags for our soup kitchen on Wednesdays. And financially, I give monthly through our online giving platform. I give because in a world where diversity is often a cause for division, I have found here at St. Mary of the Lake and Our Lady of Lourdes that diversity is our greatest strength. It is here that I have found authentic friendship, friendship that transcends age, race, and sexual orientation. I have found a beautiful and holy place of prayer with a wide array of music and inspired preaching. I see people who are deeply committed to service and social justice. I experience a genuine sense of welcome across many languages and cultures. I've discovered this to be a place where everyone's gifts are valued and shared among clergy, religious, and laity alike. In the coming weeks and months, we'll be sharing more about how you can get involved in our parish's many ministries and events. But this week in particular, we're asking you to consider a financial commitment to regular Sunday giving. Last week, we shared copies of the annual report. If you did not receive one, I invite you to pick up a copy to read it and celebrate with us. But on behalf of the Parish Council and Finance Council, I also want to be very honest about what you will find in there. Our budget this year has us landing in the red. We're walking into this fiscal year knowing that if our financial giving remains the same, we will end this year with a shortfall in our operating budget of nearly $250,000. Sunday giving keeps the heat running in the winter, and the fans blowing in the summer. It offers us coffee and donuts on Hospitality Sunday. It ensures that our staff is fairly paid and our guest musicians are compensated. We may not all be able to give at the same level, but it takes each one of us giving whatever we can to make it work. Your gift helps us pray together, serve those in need, and welcome people into our community. You give someone else the opportunity to encounter Christ in a deeper way, as together we strive to love God and love our neighbor. Thank you. Thank you for your faithful consideration, for your generosity, and your presence with us each week. Amen.